we do a lot of things in regards to cancer, both um, detection and, and diagnosis. You know, um, the first thing we try to do is obviously keep it from ever happening. Um, we run an active smoking cessation clinic. Um, that's the biggest thing we can do. So we can definitely help you get off cigarettes. Um, but for people that are at risk for the development of lung cancer, and that's typically people that have smoked greater than 20 years, people who have lung function that's reduced with COPD and emphysema, people that have uh, silicosis or asbestosis, and of course people that have already survived head neck cancer or lung cancer, um, they're at risk for the development of another one. Um, the current process of what to do for these folks who are at risk is still in flux. Um, there's, uh, in some cases, people do CAT scan screening, and if you've definitely been a cancer survivor, you do get fairly regular CAT scans to look for lung nodules and so forth. Um, and that's great. The problem is, is that all that looks at is actually the, the lungs themselves, but the airways, all the piping that leads out to the lungs, are actually very poorly visualized with CAT scan, and a significant amount of cancers actually develop there, especially ones that are recurrent from your original cancer. And we, uh, and a lot of other centers, have advocated and have formed a cooperative to study it further, because there are, is initial data, and it's actually quite excellent, that if you go in at these, and examine the airways of these people that are at high risk for cancer, you can sometimes find lesions just with your naked eye, just looking there and say, wow, that, that doesn't look right, we better biopsy it. But we have a specialized scope that shines a fluorescent light on the inside. And it turns out that precancers um, glow a different color under fluorescent light. And so quite literally, we, the normal reflection should be green and the areas that are red are abnormal. So we go in and start biopsying the red spots. Um, and are able to remove things um, that are precancers. You know, the analogy here is um, you get a colonoscopy to go remove polyps that if left alone, would potentially become colon cancer. And so you prevent colon cancer by getting rid of the precancers. It's the same idea here. You're a definitive risk for development of lung cancer. Let's go in and find the precancers. And we destroy them while we're in there. Um, and if we, if we take the biopsy and it shows us what we're worried about, we can go back in and laser those areas. And essentially, like a dermatologist does with precancers and moles, um, remove it. And obviously keep surveying you, but quite literally nipping it in the bud. The other thing that we do that's equally, I think, important uh, is for the folks that get a CAT scan that comes back abnormal. And they've been told, uh, you know, gosh, I'm, I'm very worried now. I, you may indeed have a lung cancer. Okay. Um, traditionally, there's been, depending on where this nodule is, um, there have been some limited options. Um, sometimes it was a needle through the chest to get into it, um, which has a significant amount of risk. Um, there was surgery, which is always a big deal. But we actually have a specialized device called an electromagnetic navigation bronchoscopy. It's very unique. Um, it's sort of like building a GPS roadmap for your lungs. We take the data from the CAT scan and quite literally build a map of you on the inside and the bronchoscopy you sit on an electromagnetic field, and the virtual you gets merged with the real you. And we've already mapped out basically a pathway right to your nodule. Our scope is able to turn in multiple directions, even once it gets past the naked eye, what we can see, but we now follow the virtual path and guide our way out to this nodule and are able to take biopsies of it. And again, you go home right afterwards. It's an outpatient procedure. And we have great diagnostic accuracy to prove, yes, it's cancer, or no, thank goodness, it's not cancer, but all without poking at you from the outside or cutting you. Um, and so that's obviously revolutionary. This same device, if it is proven it is cancer, can actually also leave markers behind to help literally guide the radiation oncologist so that they have better precision so that they can better kill that tumor with radiation because the beam can be more focused and so more energy can be delivered to kill tumor and harm less normal tissue around it. And then equally important as well, when people get told there's lymph nodes that are enlarged, traditionally the way to biopsy those was to do a cut at the base of the neck and do a surgery where they put a scope in. And again, that's surgery. We're able to 
biopsy these lymph nodes with a specialized scope that has an ultrasound probe so we can quite literally see the, the lymph node, see also the blood vessels, so obviously don't touch those, and take samples of the lymph nodes all again as an outpatient, done through your mouth, leave no trace behind. Um, bronchoscopies come a long way in a short distance of time and it's, um, or short span of time, and it's been fantastic um, and the patients are definitely benefiting from it.